How y'all doing? My name is Pastor Overkill. Welcome back to Titanfall 2. Take Anderson's wrist mounted device, it says, at 12 meters. And this is that shot we just saw, I believe. Was it little? Can't tell. Ah, see, there you go. See, picture perfect. Sorry, Anderson. Meshes are online. Let's box him in. Control, we've initiated contact with the intruder, but his movement is erratic. Will Dr. Kobe Marvin please report to robotic engineering for design review? Dr. Kobe Marvin to robotic. What was that? Okay, apparently can't do anything about that. I see the pilot over here. Okay, so I'm oh. Okay. Ooh. What the hell? What am I supposed to do now? Oh, I'm not there. Do that. Um,
shot. Okay. I don't know where I'm supposed to go after this. Am I supposed to go that way or am I supposed to do I go up? Do I where we go? Stand by, we can't get a lock on his position. Found out and I do that, I turn my head too. Okay, so Watch like your back! Watch your back! Okay, so what am I supposed to... What was the point of coming in here then? So I can't kill him? That bite. Okay. 
So, that was interesting. What next? How did that not work? How did that not work? We don't test the arch power now. We may never have another chance. Zulu Six, press the arch for delivery. Now I'm gonna try that again. This time I'm gonna. Anderson's log 342. The fold weapons power source is called the Ark. Doesn't look like they perfected the casing. This one's empty. The Ark must be somewhere else. Anderson out. Mark three. Mark three. What is Mark four? Can't tell. Mark four or Mark three? Hi there. Get a hang of 
Dr. Jefferson Boyle, log three. I had to get creative. Failed experiments on Typhon's indigenous wildlife are unfortunately next door. In other words, I cooked the problem. It tasted like chicken. If chicken was a weird dinosaur-like creature injected with IMC meds and steroids. On a lighter note, I think I found a way to upload these logs to what's left of the IMC network here. Maybe someone's monitoring. Here's to hope. Right now. They were targeting this planet's moon as a test. This damn thing was just a test. One of our own planets is next. They're going to hit Harmony. And they moved up the timeline. I have to get this intel to Sarah. Like that, pilot. That was Major Anderson's final recording. Cooper, based on your recon of this facility, I may have a plan. Meet me outside. some time today to talk about the value of human life. There is no value to human life. Now that I have your attention, to be more precise, human life to a certain limit is expendable. We are self-perpetuating yet self-destructive, adaptable yet flawed, and always, always resource intensive. We are endless consumers of resources. But most relevant to our research here is one undeniable fact, that human life is abundant. Overpopulation of any colonized world is a given. 
Through the lens of cold objectivity, it is irresponsible to say that all individuals on such worlds are actually indispensable. Millions of humans die across the colonized world every day by any number of causes. Human life is expendable. Now our problem is twofold. On the one hand, we are faced with a hostile frontier populace opposed to our commercial pursuits for the greater good. And on the other hand, there is a never-ending cry for natural resources, demanded of us by the greater populations of the core systems. We must have order on the frontier if we are to achieve true progress, but the militia, in its provincial myopic lack of vision, refuses to accept this. Thus, we are at war. Now the bitter truth. Reinforcements from the core systems will not arrive for several more years. The militia gain strength day by day, taking back one planet after another. Our choices are limited. Drastic action must be taken. Again, I remind you all of one simple truth, that human life is abundant. And, as distasteful as it may sound, Human life is, in truth, expendable. And so that brings us to this planet Typhon, where we have discovered a gift, a machine that will do more than change the tide. Call it fate, call it evolution, call it what you will. The truth is we have discovered our resolution, and in it lies a weapon with a powerful ability to fold space and time. We don't know who built it, but we do know that it is quite old. And most importantly, we have learned enough to bring it to life. As we use this fold weapon, we will manipulate space-time targeting anything we desire, sundering entire planets. Our restoration efforts in the mountains are nearly complete, but one task remains. We must complete a small-scale test here first, to tune the power source, or the arc, as our colleagues tend to call it. Once we have accomplished this, we will transfer the power source, the arc, to the full-scale site, and destroy one populated militia planet and then another until they capitulate. We will open an Einstein-Rosen bridge sending through thousands of concentrated gravitational waves. This will rip apart and sunder every molecule, every atom, and every living thing we target, resulting in total loss of life. But lest we lose sight of the bigger picture, remember those losses are ultimately replaceable by the inexorable march of human reproduction. By decisively neutralizing the militia forces, we will in fact safeguard the existence of the human race, extending its reach and power towards a prosperous and bright future. Not now, you idiot. Okay. Back old fans over there. Automated security personnel have now been deployed in all non com BT-7274 SITREP o Operation 71217 Discovered IMC Prototype Full Weapon Test Site Test Ring Diameter 840, 184 meters Power Source Arc Location Unknown Threat Critical The IMC's next target is Militia Homeworld of Harmony Recommendation The Full Scale Full Weapon cannot function without the Arc Track the Arc in the present using a scan from its, of it from the past. Pilot, I recommend you meet me at the rings in order to scan the Arc's energy signature. Pilot, I've located the control. 
controls to extend the bridge to the rings. I have marked it on your HUD. It appears that whatever actions you took in the past have caused the remaining automated security systems to be quite hostile towards us in the present. Scan the ARC's energy signature. Pilot, I have located the controls to extend the bridge to the rings. Hide it on your HUD. You're kidding me. Okay, so I can't just run square into that and... Pilot, I recommend you meet me at the rings in order to scan the ARC's energy signature. Come on. Pilot, I have located the controls to extend the bridge to the rings. I have marked it on your HUD. It appears that whatever actions you took in the past have caused the remaining automated security systems to be quite hostile towards us in the present. Superpower called stupid.
miraculously I got thrown back into, into where I was supposed to be. Whoa. Well done, pilot. Scan complete. As Anderson discovered, the IMC intend to destroy the militia planet of Harmony using the full-scale version of this weapon. Pilot Cooper, our journey is far from over. We must get this data to the fleet. Oh. Oh. Cooper's logbook. Found Anderson KIA. We're now responsible for finishing his mission. The IMC recently conducted a weapons test against a moon of Typhon, shattering it. It's called a fold weapon. The one we saw is just a small prototype. They're going to use a large-scale version to target militia-controlled planets, forcing us to surrender the frontier. The planet Harmony is first on that list. We have to get this intel to M Militia Command. BT says that says an IMC interstellar beacon could do the trick. Okay. So. I'm going to here. Because we're about to get into some fun parts. <laughs> okay, so. If y'all did like this video. Please subscribe for more videos. Maybe like this video. And maybe leave a comment or two. But I'll see y'all later. Y'all come back now, you hear it?